Well, hi and welcome back to the channel. So, if you're new to the channel, I'd like to say welcome and I really hope you find the video interesting. So, today I've got something a bit special. I've got the opportunity to review a brand new piece of equipment. It is, in fact, a prototype from Altair Astro and it is their new 60mm ED quad telescope. So, it's still in a box at the moment. I'm going to quickly unbox it. We'll have a quick look at it then I want to get it on the mount and uh, hopefully we'll get a clear sky soon and I can get some images with it. So I hope you enjoy my review on the new Altair 60mm ED quad telescope. So I'm quite excited to open this box because this has just arrived from Altair Astro and in here is the new 60mm quad telescope. So I'm keen to get this unboxed and uh, have a look at it. So let's get this undone. So in this box is another box. So let's put that to one side. Now carefully under this box. Right, we're getting closer. Oh, wow. This does look nice. Let's put that down there. I've got to say the packaging on this is rather nice. It's completely encased in this dense foam, so it's really going to travel well in that box. Let's um, see if I can get it out. Wow. This is a very nice looking scope. That's nice that it comes with the um, a bracket so you're going to attach a guide scope on there. There's a tension control for the focuser. Yeah, that's very smooth. It's marked on the draw tube here. That looks to me to be the maximum. Yeah, that's maximum. This is as far as the tube comes out. That's it. That's a really small, compact scope. Yeah, yeah I can't wait to get that on the rig and use that. Let's have a look here. 360 rotator that's fantastic it's great to have a full 360 rotator built in that is very nice indeed just take a look at this it's got a bit of weight to it the dew shield is quite firm so i don't think that's going to fall back well oh, that's a quick unboxing I've got to say, on first impressions, it looks very nice indeed. Yeah, I can't wait to get this on the rig and start using it. Right, so I also have here the new Altair 6 nanometer dual narrowband certified filters. This is an HA and O3, and this is an S2 and O3. And with the filter comes a test report which shows a little graph of the uh, band pass. This is for the HA and O3. And it's nice that these little reports come with the filter. And uh, this is really gonna help with your dual narrow band one shot color imaging. Let's just have a look at this in here. I also have the filter clips here, the magnetic filter holders. So you screw that into here. And I've got one of these filter holders which will be on the imaging train. So then you can load these up with your filter. And they just go in here like this. They just sit there like that. And then when you want to put a filter on the scope, you can pull out your filter and just put it straight in to the holder on the scope. And when you're not using it, put it back into your little filter holders here 
very useful and they've got magnets in here so they click together like that and the magnets on the filter holder line up with the um, magnets here and you'll hear they just click in there and you can have a whole row of these depending on how many filters you've got and they just sit there together nicely uh, so yeah I'm looking forward to using these and um, trying these narrowband filters out six nanometer so that's going to be really the, that's going to be better than my Optolong Alextreme which is seven nanometer I'll be interested to see how these compare so right now I'm going to put the camera on I'm putting on the Altair 533C on here I've also got a uh, Altair filter drawer which I'm going to put on now I want the filter drawer to be next to the camera so and due to the short travel of the focus tube you may just need to put a spacer on here to enable you to get focused so I've got a 21mm spacer which I'm just going to fit on before the filter drawer and the filter drawer is 17mm anyway so that will just help me to get a focus it's going to be a bit of trial and error really I shall see how that goes and alter it accordingly if I need to so anyway this is going to be the image and train I've also got a little mini guide scope I can put in there handy to have that bracket already attached so there we are that's all ready to go so we have a clear sky tonight and I'm keen to get this new scope up and running I've got to connect the Mele Quai 3 and the uh, Pegasus Powerbox to it and get it all connected and then we'll get Nina to run it I uh, haven't chosen the target yet, so I'm going to have to have a look on Stellarium and pick an appropriate target. So there's not much info on this particular scope. It's actually a prototype from Altair Astro. But what I can tell you is, it's a 300mm quad uh, F5. Uh, it's got at least one synthetic fluoride element inside. And other than that, I don't know what the glass is. I'm not sure whether it's FPL53 or not, but the uh, synthetic fluoride element I'm sure it's going to help with your chromatic aberration. Um, it's got a full 360 rotator. It's dual rack and pinion with a fine focus control knob here, which is nice and smooth. It comes with this nice little bracket on here, so you can attach, like I've done here, a guide scope. And it's a very good quality scope. It's very nicely built. So I'm really keen to get this going tonight. So this is paired with the Altair 533C, and I've got a filter drawer in here, which I will be putting in uh, the dual narrowband six nanometer filters once I've chosen the target that is and then hopefully uh, we'll get some nice images with it See, the only disadvantage of not having a permanent built up rig is bits of equipment everywhere, wires all over the place. I mean, look at this lot. Luckily, this is just a test rig and uh, it will be taken down and uh, stripped down completely and used in other configurations, so there's no point in actually making it a permanent setup. So this is unfortunately the consequence. Yeah, it looks a bit of a mess, but hopefully it should work. So judging by the sky, I'm not taking any chances. I've covered the rig up and hopefully these clouds will go. It is supposed to be clear, but now I've just got set up. It does not look very promising. I think I'd better leave it covered up for now. Honestly, the things I have to do to get this rig going, I couldn't, log in to Nina. In fact, I couldn't log on to the computer full stop. Oh, this is fun and games. Right, so finally I've got Polar Alive. So I'm in Nina, I've got my sequence set in and I'm now going to hit start. And we'll see what happens. Oh, the scope is slewing somewhere. I 
target actually is IC1396, which is the elephant's trunk. So uh, we'll see uh, where this is pointing at. Hopefully <laughs> that is the elephant's trunk. got a clear sky and the rig is now imaging. So I managed to get the first light last night. It wasn't easy. The clouds didn't go till about midnight and I had to manually focus this scope with a baton off mask because I don't have a focuser on it. And um, yeah, I had problems connecting the PC to Nina. Uh, I couldn't actually remote into it because the PC was doing updates so um, once I sorted out all those little issues I managed to get first light so I'm hopefully gonna have another go tonight it's supposed to be clear I mean the sky is looking really good at the moment so hope it stays like that um, I'm now gonna do some flats and uh, dark flats on this scope here so uh, fingers crossed it will stay clear and uh, I'm gonna get another night on it tonight Firstly, I'd like to say thanks to Altair Astro for letting me have the opportunity to review this prototype scope here, this 60 ED quad scope. Um, I've got to say that it's actually a very, very good quality scope indeed. The um, quality of the optics I think you'll see in the image is really good. The stars come out perfectly. You don't need to worry about a field flattener with this. It's uh, quad design. It's got this super smooth dual rank and pinion focuser here uh, with a fine tune control. It's very easy to use. I had to focus with a batten off mask, found it really easy. So I also used the six nanometer dual narrow band HA-03 filter. And I've got to say that filter is just incredible. It really did help pull out those details as you'll see in the image. So um, yeah, it's, um, it's a lovely scope. It's a nice travel scope. It's uh, very compact, very nicely built, and I think it's going to be a very popular uh, wide field refractor scope. And if you want to know more about this scope, then you'll have to contact Altair Astro directly. They'll be able to give you a lot more information, um, including the price, because I don't know what the price is. Uh, I know that the 70 ED is 899 so I'm guessing this 60 ED quad will be less than that. So I really hope you found this video interesting and possibly even useful. I'm gonna say thanks to all of my subscribers and thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed yet and you really like this kind of thing, then I really appreciate a subscription. And please give this video a like, hit the thumbs up and uh, leave me a comment. That's always great to get comments and I will reply to everyone. So thanks so much for watching and as always I wish you all clear skies. <laughs>